Hi everyone. Uh, we're going to do homework help for multi-step equations um, worksheet. So in this worksheet we just have more and more challenges with each of these equations and I'll talk about each of them. You can fast forward to the one that you need to look at or you can look at all of them, whatever you need. So in number one we have um, a situation where you need to use distribution. So if um, 3 is multiplied by the, the difference between t and 1, you need to multiply t by both, 3 by both t and by negative 1. So this one is going to be 3t minus 3, because 3 times t is 3t, and 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. I know you probably know that, but I just like to kind of restate it in case anyone is still not exactly sure. Um, and then this side of the equation is going to stay the same, 9 plus t. That's a t. I know it doesn't look like it. Okay, now I need to zero my constant and also get all of my, my uh, variable over to one side. So zeroing my constant, this one looks like the best one to do. And I'll do, I'll add 3 to negative 3 in order to get 0. So um, this side is just 3t. And this side is 9 plus 3 is equal to 12, and then plus t. Okay, I'm still not there yet, so I need to subtract the t on this side. Let's use a different color. I need to subtract that t so that I can get my variable all on one side and my plain numbers all on one side. So minus t minus t. So that's 2t is equal to 12. And then we know what two twice of t is, but we don't know what just 1t is. So let's divide this by 2, divide by 2. That cancels to um, just 1. So that's t on this side, and then 6 on this side. Okay. Um, with number 2, you have uh, just distribution on both sides. So the first thing you're going to do is, is do that distribution before you get started in moving around your constants and your variables. So 2x plus 8, because I multiplied 2 by x and 2 by 4. And then on this side, I'm going to multiply, multiply 3 by x and then 3 by negative 2. So that's, um, sorry, excuse me, 3x minus 6, because 3 times negative 2 is a negative 6. Then I can um, move my variables around. And this time, I think it's easier to move the constant over to the left side. So I'm going to add 6 in order to cancel this out. And then I add it to the other side because you have to do the same thing to each side in an equation. This zeroes out. This becomes 3x is equal to 14. And then 2x. So 2x plus 14 equals 3x. Then I need to subtract the variable from this side in order to zero that out. Because I don't, I don't want any variable on this side. So I'm going to subtract 2x, subtract 2x, this zeros, it's running out of ink, and this becomes 14 is equal to just x. Oh look, we're done. Okay, for number 3, again it's more distribution, but it's trickier because if you look at it, I bet you already know what I'm going to say. There's a negative sign in front of this um, set of parentheses, so this is probably going to, if there's one spot that's going to trick you in this equation, it's definitely that spot. Um, so the number 5 is going to stay over here, and then we have to distribute the negative, which is kind of like a negative 1 in front of this. So negative 1 times n is just negative n negative 1 times negative 4 is a positive 4, so we're going to do negative n and plus 4. And this side, here I'll go like that so we remember. So this side is 3n and then 3 times 2 
plus 6. From here, we're just combining like terms. So 5 and 4 are going to make 9. So it's 9 minus n equals 3n plus 6. And then we need to actually subtract our constant, to 0 our constant, and then we're going to subtract our variable. So let's do this where we're subtracting 6 from each side. That gets 0. And we end up with 3 minus n. And then we need to add n to both sides in order to zero that variable. So 3 is equal to 4n. And then we want to know just what 1n is. So we're going to divide both sides by 4. So this goes to 1. And then n is equal to 3 quarters. Okay. Let's check my time. We're looking good. So problem four is we're distributing a half instead of um, a whole number. So we're going to do the same thing. We're just multiplying a fraction by a whole number instead of a whole number by a whole number. So a half times an eighth or a half, uh, I mean a half times eight or a half of eight is four. And then half of negative six is negative three. And that has an H attached to it is equal to H. Um, add, well, the constant is already on one side, so we're going to add uh, our variable to get it to zero on this side. That expression zero, so it's four is equal to four h. Oh, that makes things really easy. Divide by four to find out what just one h is. That becomes a one, and ironically, that is a one also. So h is equal to 1. Um, here we have more fractions, but I think it'll make our life easier if we go ahead and multiply this by a factor of 9, the whole, the whole express or the whole equation. Let's see what time it is good. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this actually because I'm thinking that it's going to be easier to see. 2 over 9x plus, so I've just rewritten it here. Okay, um, so when I multiply by a factor, I'm multiplying all of this e e equation. So it's all of both sides. This side is fairly easy because 9 is distributed into each number. So 9 um, times 7 ninths, well those just cancel to a 1, and 9 times 2 over 9, that cancels to a 1. So you end up with 2x plus 7 on that side. Okay, on this side, here's where it gets a little tricky. So you only apply the multiplier to the number that's just inside the set of parentheses. So while we have one-third inside this parentheses and then the one-third is applied to the stuff in here. You can just apply the nine to the one-third and leave this in parentheses and not have to um, multiply the nine by it. Since this number is already applied to this set of numbers, we only have to manage these two. That means we only have to multiply nine by one-third Okay, so 9 times 1 third, or a third of 9, is just the whole number 3. And then we're going to leave the, parent the parenthetical number statement here, like that. I think this could be confusing, but just remember you're only applying the number on the, uh, just through one set of parentheses. And then you can leave the other set totally intact. Okay, so here we still have to distribute. So 3x plus 3 is equal to 2x plus 7. And then we can zero the constant. 3x equals 2x um, plus 4. And then we can zero the variable. And that's x equals 4 because 3 minus 2 is just 1x. So we end up with our answer right there. Okay, one more problem. Let's 
see. I'm going to run out of time, so I need to stop it here, and I'll add another problem.